Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the shop. Uh, this is not, I mean, it's a video, but it ain't, you know, I've been cleaning up. Me, Lars, and Sacher and Sarcher spent all day yesterday clearing up the rest of the storm damage. Yep, yep. Uh, finally got all that took care of and burnt, yard mowed, all that stuff, but I'm in a perplexing situation here. Uh, as most of y'all know, I'm carless. I got two cars sitting right here with brand new engines in them. I got the 85 Blazer, brand new motor. I got the 84 trash truck, brand new motor. Both of them needs transmissions. Okay? So, now I'm in this gray area. I know how to rebuild them. Right? Because I was going to rebuild the uh trash truck transmission because there was nothing wrong with that when we took it out as far as i know so it's just you know, you know throw little things in there and freshen her up but now we come to the 85. that thing's been screwed up since the last guy rebuilt it and uh, i've been through it a couple times but here's the deal $1,600 to $2,000 to get a remanufactured one, right? And who knows what you're going to get there. The rebuild kit for that 90 model transmission is in the 85 is $195 at a Jags or Summit. I can't remember which one. So you got $200 there. Then, you know, Two three hundred dollars on a Torton Burger, which I think the Torton Burger that's in the eighty four trash truck is fine, because when we took that thing apart, it was clean. So may not have to buy a Torton Burger. So the question is, knowing that I have been through the eighty five transmission three times, still couldn't figure it out. Uh, but I guarantee you I can find out what's wrong with it now because it finally just, trust me, <laughs> stuff came loose in that thing. Um, so, question is, what would you do in my situation? Would you buy a new transmission or remanufactured transmission or just take it apart, clean it, find all the bad parts, put it back together, which is going to be half of what a remand transmission is going you're going to pay and uh then you still don't know what you got but if i go through it and know what i've done went through all them steps put everything in there new find the problem spots fix all them which would you do all right you know eight hundred dollars versus sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars so, hey, y'all pick. Y'all want to see me struggle and Mr. LP94 struggle with <laughs> digging into this transmission again? Uh, but I figured do it right. But it, I, the spray went out in it. I know what happened. Uh, it does need a reverse drum because I took the one out of 84 and put it in there. So, you know, there's going to be a little extra money there. And then plus cleaning it all out and getting all that crap out of it. That we're at that sprag just it exploded, man. I'm just telling you, I like never go home. Uh, so hey, down in the comments, y'all want to see <sighs> me cuss, fuss, and get drunk, and you know, <laughs> stand around and take hammers and stuff, <laughs> and get this thing back working, or Y'all think I should just go buy a damn transmission? Hmm. Well, y'all let me know. Okay? That's what's coming up. Got to get the 85 going before we can mess with the trash truck again. So, anyway, there's the video for this week. Um, <laughs> I'm in one of them perplexing, you know, do I or don't I? Do I do this? Do I do that? Do... But, hey, 
I'm gonna let y'all have the, the last word. And then uh, I'm gonna go for it, right? Y'all take care. See y'all next week when we're working on the trash truck. Maybe if the weather holds out, we got that thing that close to having the engine done. But again, transmission, yada 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 yada. Y'all have a good day, good night. Whenever y'all watch this, take care, family, home, and safe. We'll see you on the next one.